what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel if you guys have seen the last video i believe the last video was we were trying to attempt the dyno session with the flip rx crx now unfortunately it didn't go as planned which is you know something to always expect when you when you're getting the car on a dyno and a fresh build like that so the car uh we ended up leaving it at antioch red zone big shout out to guy for um allowing me to leave it there until i have some time to get the van and the trailer to go back and pick up the car now the car was overheating a lot um, initially when we were driving probably about 15 miles the temperature started climbing rapidly and uh, I noticed that it was just <laughs> it, it, it drove fine it was just super hot so we ended up making it 72 mile drive to the dyno we get to the dyno we did all the little you know little fix with it and everything threw it on the dyno and the temperature was okay for a cool minute until we got into the pools now all the pools that we were doing with the car we were letting it cool down and then um you know made another pull after that and then we realized we we're starting to have a spark issue so now with the spark issue and the car getting hot we ended up just cutting the dyno there and uh you know we just ended the session we left the car there because i didn't want to hurt the motor anymore uh driving as hot as it was and uh like i said i'm gonna go back and get the car like next week or something but after speaking to Nomis industry he kind of explained to me a couple scenarios of why the car was doing what it was doing he had customers that told him the same case scenarios before and they were saying that maybe the block or the cylinder head is cracked which explains why the coolant temp was climbing rapidly as soon as the car is on and the, you know the combustion chamber is working it starts to heat it right away because it is seeping through a crack getting through the cooling system getting that extra hot and um I believe the spark blood issue is probably because coolant is coming in and then, you know, wiping out the spark as it is, you know, doing this thing in the combustion chamber. So um, a lot to figure out with that car. Once we get it back, we're going to do the leak down test, figure out what's really going on with the engine, and then we'll plan accordingly. Now today was supposed to be a transmission job. I was supposed to swap my transmission in the all-wheel drive CRX. I haven't really driven the car since the last track day at Race Wars. And if you guys haven't seen that video, be sure to check the link above here and the car was actually driven all wheel drive to the track blew the axles apart and when i got to the track i ended up racing the car front wheel drive and because i don't have spare axles i want to convert this car back to front wheel drive but we'll get more into that just when we get into working on that car but today because this car is on the driveway this is my brother's wagon if you guys don't remember it's kind of been parked in the back of that corner for like a year so he has his car on the driveway because he just got it up and going again and uh, he did all the maintenance stuff to it wires plugs oil coolant all that stuff and washed the car put the new suspension on and he's going to be dailing this car while he's getting everything ready for his lifted crv now because this car is on the driveway I want to use this car as mock-up and uh, in the back here we have a wagon bull bar which belongs to the homie Caesar red eyes 415 be sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel this is a bull bar for the Civic wagons but I'm sure you can use it on the other EF chassis as well but this originally came off the Civic wagon Beagle which is offered outside of the US and uh, it's 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 an optional piece that came on those vehicles. So this right here is Caesar's bull bar that he purchased without bracketry. And uh, I don't know what the previous owner did to it, but it is it is missing all of the L brackets that are supposed to be sitting right here. Now, it looks like this has been modified before. All these welds right here, these are flat stock from freaking Home Depot. And I know this because, I mean, I buy the same stuff, but dead giveaway are the stickers like right here in the back and uh it's been modified before not sure how this was mounted but my goal today is to i guess make it mount some way somehow now my buddy ulysses a couple years ago has brought me a bull bar as well and i've made brackets for him and his bull bar mounted up and everything but because this is actually missing pieces we're gonna have to get creative and find a way to mount this up. So with my brother's car here on the driveway and this is meant for the wagon, he has the original front end. I'm gonna use his car as mock-up, bolt up the license plate holes right here, figure out what we're gonna do with the bottom.
So I have the bull bar hooked up, right? Just the top. And I'm looking at the picture of the bull bar. It looks like it is missing a good amount. Like it's supposed to be, this, this tube is supposed to be like over here or something. And it's shortened down, it is chopped. I'm not sure what's really going on. The top bracket, it's all gone as well. And uh, the bull bar lower section is supposed to mount off the uh, OE bracket that comes off the tow hook. So it's the tow hook and then a 90 bracket which has like two or three holes on it. And then the bull bar has a bracket that goes up 90 into it and then it screws into um, the bracket. So I got these two brackets right here made up. This is similar to what the OEM uh, bull bar bracket looks like, but this is made out of the stock, um, literally the stock tow hook um, hooks. So uh, yeah, I pretty much just modified these to go 90 degrees, have two holes right here. I'm gonna put some nuts in the back to weld that shut. Uh, so that way you don't, it's, it's gonna be super hard to put a wrench over to hold the nut in place when you're bolting up this bull bar so i'm just going to find some random bolts clean them up tack them in and uh it'll just be a simple screw up and uh it should be secured so these are done and out of the way now before i go and like loosen up the tow hook that are on the frame rail now to put these sucker ins to kind of make the bottom mount i'm looking at the bull bar and it doesn't look right it seems like it is tilted too far back that the bottom is not swinging enough that's probably why it looks like we're missing a chunk down low it looks like it needs to come forward i don't know the bottom needs to go back so that this can straighten itself out a little bit now it is kind of playing with my eyes because the car is on jack stand the car is slanted but looking at a lot of picture um i already took off the shield the shield this section right here is pretty close to the bumper but in this case with the shield on the shield is actually like all the way over here so i took the shield off to kind of see what's really going on and obviously this has been modified before this cross brace here this round tube here the flat stock in the back all of that and it looks like it is hitting right there and that's probably the reason why it's not going further back so it looks like i'm gonna have to pull the bull bar back out and trim this corner right here to clear that tab same on this side right here and it looks like i'm gonna have to trim like this whole section out right here so it doesn't interfere with the center of the bumper and uh, that'll allow the bull bar to go further back all right so i ended up cutting this entire center uh flat stock out because I was trying to save it, but it was it was just at a weird angle where I ended up cutting further down and I just ended up just cutting it all the way through that one entire one inch flat stock. So 
the whole center section is out we still have the round two being right here uh kind of supporting the left and right hand side i did trim the top of the flat stock on this cross bar right here i don't know if this uh i don't know if this bull bar had a cross bar here before but somebody modified it and put one there and that was also hitting the bumper so i trimmed it at an angle right and then the front one right here at an angle both sides this gap right here between the shield and the bumper it's a lot closer so before it used to sit something like this and with the center of the bottom like flat stock bracket cut out it's now sitting a lot more tucked in so i think um because this bar was already modified and i don't have um like a lot of materials to center that brace up we're going to stick with this we're going to make the brackets based off where the bull bar currently sits on the car Okay, so this is what I was afraid I'd run into. Um, the car is obviously lowered and a lot of things has been bashed down here. And the tow hook, if you look, it's not flat. Now this is my brother's car, but obviously I gotta make it fit and ensure that when Caesar put this on his car, that his tow hook is flat too. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hit it with the hammer. All right, guys, it's getting a little a little late here, but I got one side bolted up with two bolts or three. Actually, it's I don't know, three bolts. Right. And uh, bracket seems to be nice and flush, nice and tight. I had to trim this off a little bit because it was touching the lower rate of support right here. But um, I'm going to have to trim that a little bit more. Holy spider. I didn't see you, bud. But um. I'm gonna have to trim it a little bit more once I take it back up, but right now everything is all bolted up and uh, it seems to fit uh, really tight. But like I said, I'm gonna trim it off when I get it off. This side, uh, this side I was bolting it on and uh, the bracket still hits this corner right here. So I'm gonna have to keep trimming this. The reason why I'm gonna trim this and not that is because um, this obviously won't fit into the other chassis if it's not cut. So I'd rather cut this. I got plenty of room to trim it down a little bit more and, uh, you know, a little bit more and this should bolt up. All right, guys. So I just, I've just been sitting here, um, tweaking the bull bar a little bit more and, uh, I can't really see it, but I prepped the ends a little bit just, uh, you know, in case I'm ready to tack well some things. It's cleaned up. I, cu I cleaned up a lot of like excess uh, broken aluminum and uh, just smoothing everything out. So what I had to do here was I put a little space here in the back because this was digging into the bumper once you screw uh, the bull bar on. So I spaced it out to give it a gap. Um, this piece right here is somebody added this on and I think this should have been in the back side to kind of prop the bull bar forward but it is welded in the front and then once you zap this into the bumper there's like literally a gap because of this um flat stock right here so this bar bends this becomes super flush and it leaves an indentation so I spaced it out and that allowed me to swing the bull bar a little bit more right and uh get the bar a little more um straighter so I've just been laying underneath the car trying to figure out a bracket tree from the aluminum to the steel. Now I shaved this down a little bit, got both um, bolts, got two bolts bolted in it and it is flush up there. So I've been trying to figure out how I am going to make a bracket to go from here to there. I came up with this little cardboard design. You guys know how it goes. CAD cardboard aided design and this is the first bracket that's going to come off the top of the support right here and then you can see it's angled up towards the metal bracket and then I have this flat piece that's going to go like that and uh, made up with the bottom piece right here and that's going to be welded to the bull bar.
all right guys so i transferred that cardboard into aluminum and i went ahead and just i was supposed to tack it check fitment instead i ended up just welding the entire thing so this flat spot right here is obviously what's gonna bolt up to the steel steel tow hook uh, mount and this flap right here is going to be welded to the bar itself like so you can see nice and flat up top and i just got to get this marked out and then weld this all the way across uh, i'm not sure if i'm gonna make another like support somewhere but we'll figure it out when we finish welding this and all fits well so yeah right now i just got to transfer these holes so i can punch them out and then uh and then we got to make the other side that's just one bolt now i'm not worried about the second one until i get the other bracket done and this right here is fully welded guys laid a fat bead on that and uh it is nice and secured now the bull bar isn't really practical for what you could be using a bull bar for because this one is aluminum and if you try to put a winch on it or hit something this thing is probably gonna mangle other than having a spot for the fog lights to mount to and using the fog lights for i don't know off-roading or whatever the case is the bull bar itself is actually useless i mean you guys can you can fight me in the comment section but i think it's just more for looks for the guys who don't have a fog light or the guys who don't really go off-roading with their cars especially when they're lowered but um, nonetheless, it looks cool. I probably would never buy one. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, knock this side out, guys. I came in the garage a little late today. I was talking to I was talking to my lawyer. So um, got it a little late. It is a little gloomy today for some reason. Sun's about to go down. I'm just going to go ahead and knock this one out. All right, guys, so bull bar fully bolted in. Got the other two holes drilled out. Eyeballed them and uh, got them almost perfect. That one, I drilled it out perfect. This one I had to hog it out a little bit, but we got two of these bolts here, 14 mils, um, secured on driver's side, secured passenger side. Pretty, pretty firm. So I'm pretty stoked to to be able to salvage this uh, bull bar and uh, I'm sure Caesar is gonna be super stoked about it I sent him some pictures and he can't wait to get this slapped onto his car now all I'm gonna do pretty much is I'm gonna pull it back off clean up some of the sharp corners and stuff like that put the tray back on and that's gonna wrap it up for the custom brackets to get this bull bar mounted on the wagon bull bar modification all done I rounded out the edges right here clean up the burrs on the holes on both ends right there and this thing is pretty much ready to go back to caesar so right here i have some longer 10 mil bolts with the two little spacers um, to go with that i'm going to explain to them why i have the spacers there we have the brackets right here that we made up from a stock tow hook and uh, again from the beagle wagon it actually comes with another piece just like this that bolts onto the tow hook and then to the frame rail so i pretty much just kind of mimic the same thing also got to remember to tell caesar to make sure his tow hook is nice and straight nice and flat so that this can bolt up and uh tension down and not um have a gap between um his stock tow hook so both brackets right here are ready to go i did provide the bolts to go with that and uh i'm probably going to paint this tomorrow when it's a little warmer obviously it's super dark right now so um yeah two brackets modified bracket two spacers this is ready for caesar red eyes 
415. If you guys want to follow his YouTube channel and his Instagram, I'll link it in the description below. He covers a lot of like meats out here. Some of the meats that I don't cover, he covers them like the EFR's DA, which was like two weeks ago, and I'm sure he covered that. Uh, I was chilling that day. It got kind of caught up with everybody, so I didn't really record anything. But um, any shows out here in the Northern California, Caesar is out there. He's recording them, so be sure to give him a subscribe. But Caesar, bull bars ready to rock and roll, man. Um, anyways, it's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Uh, it was a long, short two days, and uh, we finally got it all done. So, um, pretty much, I think tomorrow, tomorrow I'm gonna get down with the transmission in the all-wheel drive CRX and get it ready for track in two days. And uh, it's it should be a quick one. Sorry, you guys can't really see anything, but the CRX is sitting right here. Just kind of wanted to get that bull bar out of the way, but. Um, it is done. All wheel drive series come back on the driveway tomorrow. We're gonna get down and get this car prepped for uh, one last hoorah. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you guys wanna stick around for the all wheel drive series going back down the track, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.